Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to cover what we can expect for Bitcoin going is going to happen next here right now. Price has been moving to the upside. So let's discuss our next target and then our micro target. So our micro target still is this median line here, which is sitting at our 96, 100,000, 95, 100,000. As we've been talking about in the past is that this pitchfork here, this midline is going to be the exact top of the bull market. But since we reached this top before the halving, I do expect that we're going to have one more push to the upside. So you can see here first time when we hit it, I warned people that we're going to see a pullback. And that's exactly what has happened. Ever since we hit this median line, Bitcoin has had a very nice pullback here, consolidation. And I do believe we're going to have one more push to the upside, hit this median line. Depending when we reach it, the target is going to vary. So let's say we're going to hit it in May. That's going to be 108,000. But that's why we have to pay attention to and I'll keep you updated here day by day. I'm still holding my long here that we opened since 59K. And I plan on, I'm plan on winding this up the whole way to the median line. So let's switch here to the daily time frame. On the smaller time frame, we've had this as a massive one, two, three, four. And we do expect a fifth wave to start here on Bitcoin which is going to take us to the upside. We can add this in green to, to see it better. So our idea has been that this median line here is going to be the next shorter term target. A lot of people tell me, oh, why are you changing our targets? First you say 76K, then you say 100K. Guys, these are two different targets. This is the first target. I do think Bitcoin is going to go to this median line. Then we're most likely going to pull back from this median line. So let's say we zoom in here. So most likely Bitcoin is going to pull back from this median line, something like this. And then we're going to go to 100K, which is going to be the final target here. 96 or 100K, I'm calling it 100K for now. So that has been the idea. So far, as we mentioned in the previous videos, we had here the shift pitchfork, which previously acted as perfect resistance. Then we had we switched to the modified shift, which acted as perfect resistance. And then we looked at the shift one back again. So if we add the shift one, we've been talking that this is going to be the bottom of the fourth wave. And if we pull from the first wave here, here to the third wave, we can pull the Fibonacci tool. So this is Fibonacci tool. I'm using the 0.31. We can see we had a perfect bottom here. Nice confluence as well. And as we've been discussing as well, is that fourth waves like to go sideways. Just as I've been talking in my previous video, I said we're most likely we're going to see some sideways chop here, have a week down to this demand zone before we continue the fifth wave to the upside. And that's exactly what we are seeing right now. So what we're expecting right now to break it down in simpler terms is basically this original pitchfork as I just showed. So we expect this to top at around 75, maybe 76,000, not top, but have a decent pullback. So let's say this is just speculation now, but let's say we do something like this. I do expect this to behave resistance, probably some bigger pullback and then continue higher. So as I said, guys, don't get confused. I'm still aiming for 100,000, but I do believe that this 74, uh, 76, 75,000 is going to be strong resistance. And this is basically the pitchfork I've just pulled from the complete lows here from the first wave to the third wave to the fourth wave. And it's the original. I see some people are using the logarithmic scale pitchfork, which will give you some insane target. So make sure you use the original pitchfork because that's the ones we've been using so far. So let's jump into the shorter term time frame. So here in the four hour, everything still looks good here. So as I said, fourth waves like to go sideways. So I said, no need to panic. we we'll still have this sideways movement here. So that's so far so good. But I would like to see us start breaking this third wave here for me to be bullish. So right now, we have, in my opinion, we have set the fourth wave in here. we got a nice week down to this demand zone. And as I said, I wouldn't like to see a daily close below the 0 0.31. That would invalidate my Elliott wave count. As I've said, guys, I cannot see the future. Anybody who claims they can see the future is most likely lying to you. So as I said, right now, I'm not sure if you're going to ask me, are you long or short here? I have no idea what, what price is going to do right now. What I do know is that algorithms were selling here at the modified shift pitchfork, which we called the third wave here perfectly. And I knew that algorithms are going to be buying at the 0 0.31. Uh, Fibonacci. So that's all what I know right now. And then I, I, I add this Elliott wave count here to sort out the price action. Elliott wave counts is not a predictive indicator. It just gives you a way to sort price action and you can then, uh, so you can map it out to have some kind of idea what price might want to do next. That's kind of how I'm using Elliott waves. So as I said, guys, I'm bullish here, but I'm not going to long the top here. I'm still long from 59,000 down here. And I'm going to look here to any pullback to add to my longs. So as I mentioned, if we can remove this Fibonacci here for a second, as I mentioned also inside the Discord, make sure to join the Discord to get my latest chart updates. We took from the lows here to the third wave and to the fourth wave. And what we're looking at here, we were first looking at the shift pitchfork, which if we can zoom in even closer, we can come here on the uh, one hour time frame. 
So if you come on the one hour, let me just readjust this pitchfork. It's important that you adjust this pitchfork correctly so we get the exact price action. So let me just see here. So far it looks good. So we can see we start with the shift pitchfork once again. We can see we had a nice pullback here. As I've been saying, I've been bullish this whole time, guys. But on this channel, we like to be precise. So I see so much confusion, guys, here. So just come inside the Discord here. Go into my Bitcoin analysis and you everything will be very, very clear to you. Because I think sometimes our analysis is too precise and people actually uh, think we are getting the predictions wrong. I said this is going to be resistance, guys. But once we break this level, Bitcoin is going to fly. And that's exactly what we did. So we had the shift pitchfork here. I said small resistance here. If you're long, good place to pull profits. After this shift one, we switched to the modified shift. I said here's going to be stronger resistance. Be Make sure to watch out for this area. If we get a four hour close below, and that's exactly what we got. And ever since then, Bitcoin has gone down. But either way, as I said, guys, this price action is not that important because it's a fourth wave typical price action here and it likes to go sideways. So I still like this pitchfork as I just had on the chart. So what I'm looking at is here from the first wave up to the third wave and down to the fourth wave. So I've been using the shift pitchfork, but be uh, the modify shift, but before that, we're using the shift one here. As we can see, once again, is acting as resistance. So we had here a small resistance, then we broke through it, and right now it's acting as resistance as well. But I don't usually trade second touches of the median line, so this pitchfork is not something major to pay attention to. But I would like us to, to break above this median line here at around 69,000 for me to be bullish and then to, to start calling for higher prices. So as I said, right now I'm still sitting tight here. If we look at the stock market, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, so make sure you watch yesterday's video, I said we need to pay attention to the monthly close. So right now the stock market is looking very bullish today. We still have three days left until the monthly close, but so far it's holding up above the minus 0 0.236. As long as we can close above this level here, basically this Fibonacci here, everything will be... Uh, look, will look much more bullish in three days from now. So as I said, I'll keep you updated, but so far it does look good. Uh, I had this bearish scenario that if the monthly would close below the minus 0 0.236, we might enter a pullback or we might go into a bigger recession here in the stock market. Since I am expect expecting a massive pullback in the stock market, I don't like people are starting calling me bears because I uh, bearish because I call, uh, said in my previous video that this might be resistance and I said I'm not calling for any crash here. I'm gonna pay attention to the monthly close, which hasn't happened yet, because if you look on my monthly chart here on the uh, stock market, this is basically my main chart I've been talking about. We have this pitchfork that goes now down to 1974. I've been the biggest bullish, the biggest bull on the stock market that I can find out there. Basically, I've been calling for 7k target, which is still another. Um, 23 25 percent to the upside for the stock market i know this target is absolutely insane the, the probability that i'm wrong is very very high but this has been my analysis that we still have gonna have one more push to the upside before we enter a bit correction but i said we are currently at resistance we need to pay attention to this because i have two targets so this is my first target which i do think we're gonna break but there's possibility that the, the top is in. If the top is not in right now here for the stock market, we're gonna continue higher. And as we know, Bitcoin and the stock market correlates, so it's gonna affect Bitcoin as well. But so far it does look good. Bitcoin as well, as we've been talking about here, we're now close to the highs, we're currently at resistance. So if we come back here on the four hour, I would look to go along basically any pullback we can get to 0.31. So if you pull from the fourth wave here to these highs, here's a, a smaller time frame support but i would look here at around 68,000. we can even zoom in in here on the two hour time frame we can see on the two hour hour we also have a nice demand zone so i would like to see something like this maybe a week down here before we continue higher to add to my long this is not a prediction guys for all i care we could do this and go straight up to the upside remember guys if we only get to the 0 0.31 here would be an excellent area of support so that's what I'm looking at right now, guys. If you have been shorting this this time, I don't know what you've been doing. We've been calling for higher targets here. I said here the third wave was a perfect short. Ever since we hit the modify shift here, we can see to the tick how the algorithm starts selling. So this was the only good area to short. Other than that, I do see much, much higher prices for Bitcoin as long as the stock market will cooperate. As I said, we need to wait for three more days here. But so far, it does look good. And as I said, guys, once we start breaking the highs here, there's a lot of liquidity here on the left. So we can map out these highs here. So as soon as we start breaking, basically, what is it? 70,100. 70, I do expect Bitcoin to start flying very rapidly because all of these uh, levels here above us have a ton of liquidity. So once we can do something like this, I do expect Bitcoin to print some big green candles, go to all-time highs, and then most likely stall here at 75,000. 
but we still have right now three days three green days in a row guys so i'm not calling we're gonna fly straight to straight to the upside as i said we, i would not be surprised if we are ready here tomorrow before we continue higher these fourth ways are very very difficult to predict so make sure you don't go with high leverage if you're trying to play this move to the upside lastly before i end the video i wanted to call to cover ethereum so as we covered here on the ethereum chart we had posted this basically back here uh, i believe on the 26th so a few days ago actually no sorry here on the 23rd i called this area of support for ethereum so we can see ethereum has now bounced bounce from this pitchfork here we have also broken the resistance to the upside so i also posted this if you take from the highs here to the lows we can remove this one we can see once again how the 0 0.31 acted as perfect resistance here so you could have shorted this a nice scalp short right now ethereum is sitting above it so ethereum does look bullish but we need to pay attention to the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, something I've been talking about, that the Ethereum Bitcoin chart looks very, very bearish in my opinion. So if we can come here on the weekly chart, I do think that Ethereum is going to continue to go lower here compared to Bitcoin. As we've been talking, as long as we can stay uh, uh, below the 0 0.5 line here, I do expect Ethereum to go much, much lower. So remember, guys, you, you want to be trading Bitcoin here rather than Ethereum or, or altcoins. For the chance for you to catch a good altcoin pumps are, a pump is very very low most altcoins are going to continue to underperform towards bitcoin i know a lot of you guys don't don't like hearing that i do expect us to have all season but not anytime soon especially looking at ethereum ethereum has still 25 26 percent to the downside to go compared to bitcoin once this middle line gets reached then i'll be very very interested to getting back into ethereum start longing ethereum on leverage and trying to catch the pump to the upside but for now we can see bitcoin is the main driver of the market smart money is going towards bitcoin institutions are buying bitcoin while retail is getting uh, getting stuck left holding basically altcoins so be careful here because altcoins and ethereum tend to correlate just be careful for this because i do expect ethereum to still continue down so i'm much more interested personally to start longing bitcoin here so otherwise i hope i guys i made it clear to you please guys watch my last video and this video i don't want any hate comments i try to be as transparent with you as possible give you the straight targets as i said this is the most important chart we can see here we're still above uh, resistance but we still have three days left so just pay attention to the stock market if we can close above i'll be very, very bullish and then i can immediately start calling for at least seventy-five thousand uh, target next but this could be a catalyst as i said if we somehow close below the minus, minus 0 0.236 this would give a reason for my Bitcoin analysis to be invalidated. But for now, I don't see that happening. So I thank so much for catching, uh, watching, guys. Please smash the likes if you enjoy the daily updates. And I will uh, keep you again, guys, updated tomorrow. If you want hourly chart updates or basically daily updates again here on my Bitcoin chart, just join here the Discord, come here into the analysis to the Bitcoin chart. I post here both shorter time frame, longer time frame. I basically call every resistance here ahead of time, every support. So far, we haven't really been wrong, I think, on any calls in the past month or so. So we've been exactly spot on so far. So like the video. See you again, guys, tomorrow.